you're looking to buy a sliding head machine, then this model is probably one of the most versatile machines that Star bring to market. So, Steve, the setup in this machine is quite different to your other models. Yeah, compared to what would be looked on as a conventional sliding head, which is normally a platen or a platen within a post turret, this is, as you can see, a triple turret machine. So more akin to a fixed head layout, but with sliding head capability. So what are the benefits of this setup then? It really is it's versatility. You know, three turrets, turrets with X, Y and Z um, axes on them. So it prevents really not being able to make any component. If it's under 40 millimetres, you can make it on this machine. It's, you know, it, it just offers you so many different ways of making components. Whereas typically on a platen side machine, you might have four tools on the back or eight tools on the back. So you're limited. On this, we've got a 10 station turret for the back with up to three tools per face on that. So it, it, it really just, just offers huge flexibility compared to most conventional sliders. So who's likely to go for a machine like this then? As a rule, um, OEMs, we tend to, we, we do sell to subcontract manufacturers and contract manufacturers, but as a rule, it, it tends to be OEM driven um, due to the fact that they want m multiple parts set and programmed before we deliver it. So uptime is, is, is optimum, you know, you, you, with having 30 tool stations, you could probably have 10, 20 permanently set up jobs in the machine. So it's only maybe a work holding change from one component to another. So basically families of parts then? Yes, uh, not as some would look at as just parts with various different lengths. This could have, you know, huge different amounts of parts, different complexity of components, as long as the bar diameter is the same and then maybe the only change is the, is the subspindle collet, which is the pickup collet. After that, you can have, I say, there's just so many different options to keep permanently set up, which which means, you know, I don't know, it's a bit of a cliche, green lights make money, red lights don't. So if the if the door's shut and the green light's on, you're making money. So describe to me a few typical components that people would put on this machine. Typical's difficult, uh, but yeah, we'll have people making parts that are around a five mil diameter that might only be 10 mil long to shafts that are 40 mil diameter, two meters long. Uh, you know, it, it's, such, it's such a, you know, a wide, variety of, of parts but if you get to the ones we're making multiples of the same a lot of spools where there's lots of cross working and drilling because you know spools might have different cross drill holes we can have you know 10 different cross drills and spot drills on the machine so to make different varieties of a similar part is 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 all set up permanently what excites you about this machine then from a, a sales point of view you know you buy a machine you buy tool holders all the tool holders fit every turret so that offers you straight away flexibility without you having to buy additional additional tool holders and, and it's you know it, it i don't know we, we, we've done we, we've got a, an example here we've got a, a little rigged up it looks a bit heath robinson where we've made a, a shaft for a customer but we need to support it with a center because we've got to turn five diameters and the, the, I think the part's over 180 millimeters long and we've got really tight concentricities. So we pick a center out, support it, turn it with a fixed head mode, because we can with the turret having the Z axis, park that back into the little hot holder which we made and one of our engineers has designed that and then be able to hold tolerances that would naturally not be able to be done on a sliding head over that length. You would normally have a second op of, of grinding. So, so it's safe to say you look after your customer with turnkey project. Oh yeah, yeah. Mo most STs would be purchased with a turnkey project. Yeah, it, you know, from where we, we've got an aer aerospace manufacturer again, and they've got a lot of really, really tight tolerances. All the parts had to be set, proved prior to dispatch, done the same there. And you know, again, we can example we we do in process gauging on those components because they're sub 10 micron tolerances, so we can. Uh, as you can see there, we have the probe. We can check the probe, check the dimensions. We can check as many times on any specific one dimension. If the tolerance, if it's moved out of tolerance, the machine will compensate, re readdress that that feature, probe again, and then move on. Uh, which again, when you're machining complex parts for long cycle times, the value of the part, the value of the material is critical. You don't want to make a component that's 30 minute cycle time and find you've scrapped it off because the dimension's out. Oh, there you have it the most flexible machine that staff provide to market the ST range.